私のパラシュートを見たことがありますか Girls Run Live was one of a kind. It was my first gacha game, and I dedicated an entire year towards it. Let's see if the spin off Project Neurocloud can live up to its predecessor. As we load into the Magras Aya, we are met with unfamiliar faces. In the art, music, and pacing is somewhat reminiscent of GFL, but the game itself is completely different. New players are introduced to basic game mechanics through the story, and most of it is fairly intuitive. The game also manages to strike a fine balance between making each run completely different due to the random function cards and giving the player enough agency over the outcome. I enjoyed the game, and、uh, I can see a lot of potential if they do it right. There is also your base. Factory and dormitories. But those are self sufficient systems once you have them set up. You can treat them as a passive source of income. Nothing unnecessarily complex. So you won't have to defend them, make alliances, or do anything of that sort. The gacha system is very generous. I sacked hard with a 93% collection rate. From just 200 poles plus the three star selector during the CBT. But in general, you can basically soft pity a three star every month, which only requires 60 poles. But you might want to save up for hard pity at 180 poles、uh, if you want a specific character. Keep in mind you do not need duplicates because fragments can be bought or farmed once you unlock a character. Should you reroll? Yes and no. True to the Mika spirit, you can get some of the best units for free. Croc has everything you need in a tank. Persica is a one woman healing machine. And Willow looks to be a great defensive support if you're not going to be h e a l i n g There's always the three star selector if you want somebody specific. There's a lot of flexibility in team building, and though you might find early game easier if you reroll for Nanaka and Humble right off the bat, chances are they'll spook you in the next month or two. Personally, Nanaka was rather lackluster early game, because besides Humble, Twigs, and V, which are all 3 star units, the other ranged DPS, Lamb, Near Heart, s e b o Mats available at launch. Required time and investment. I found a lot of success with double warrior comps, and in that flex spot, I would try Florence, Willow, or Sakria. Mika has always relied on skins for revenue. The seasonal skins are well worth the price, with live 2D and fully animated achievements, but there are also free to play skins that can be unlocked by upgrading your characters. Unfortunately, I can't help but feel like the PMC designs are missing that personality that made GFL characters stand out. Perhaps because there is no history behind their firearms, no country of origin to draw inspiration from. Ultimately, if you enjoy roguelike games, if you can't live without that dopamine hit from gacha games, or if you don't want a game that takes up your entire day, Then you should definitely try this game out for yourself. I understand this will not be a game for everyone, but I do have a few more videos planned after the game drops next week. In the meantime, I recommend you check out GFO, if only for the story and the wonderful character designs. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.